Gale ratings, this is Garth R.S. The Tireless Adventure with another episode of Feed the Beast Single Player. Episode 55, Season 2, Man Oh Man. And I am in creative mode for a very specific reason. Well, here's the story. Somehow, a blaze spawned outside of this and killed me to death with his angriness. And basically what I've been doing is just kind of standing here and seeing if I can get it to happen again. I did beef up security a little bit. I'll show you exactly what I did. Uh, I added a second layer here just in case that's what was causing it. Um, doesn't seem to really be an issue uh, anymore. I went AFK here to see if these things would hold up as far as, you know, getting their, their heat generated up. And uh, <laughs> they're holding up just fine. And Blaze killed me in the face. So, there you go. There's that. So, I just wanted to show you guys that, and then we'll come back over here, and we'll go... Yeah, uh, I was pretty mad, because I was AFK when it killed me, and I was eating dinner. So, when I came back, I was dead, and then when I clicked the respawn, all of my items had despawned. So, I lost everything. I had to go back and make a couple of more things. As you can see, um, I did... Put the kinetic generator and the elite battery and the sprint jump and the sprint jump assist. Uh, elite battery, elite battery water electrolyzer, and then I, I made this over again. And I think I added. No, it's just the way it was before. But what I didn't put on at all was armor because you guys were like, you know, you can totally make the shield thing, blah blah blah. And you didn't sound like that when you said it, but it was, it was roughly about that. And uh, Malcolm John 1997 says, yay, one hour! And I apologize to those of you who didn't want an hour-long episode uh, and to those of you who enjoyed it profusely, you're welcome. <laughs> 40 comments, people. 4-0. F-O-0. F-O-0. Come on. Sprint, 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 sprint. Boom! You have earned it. That thing still gets me. And I don't want to go up. I want to go down. Because there's something I want to show you. And I know I said we were going to work on that thing today. And we will. But first, we're going to do something else. Boom! Force field emitter. Now, I'm going to need a couple of these. I believe I'm going to need six. So I went through a couple of stacks of iron making the ender pearls I'm going to need. Actually, three stacks of iron. And then I had almost another stack and a half making these solenoids. So let's just go ahead and let's grab them. One, two, three, four, five, six seven eight i think eight is exactly what i need but i probably made two too many i said two two <laughs> anyway so we come over here and we click this and we come down here to force field energy field look at actually we need two so install let's see field strength i say we put it um let's just put it at let's just put it at yeah six is good how much does it weigh didn't change the weight at all there you go so whoever said that i don't remember who you were but you were right, and I was wrong, and but still handsome. I was wrong in a handsome way. I was so handsomely wrong. <laughs> yeah, I see I'm watching this thing at the bottom. See, take it all the way up. Boom! Look at that. Boom. Boom. All right. Energy per damage, 500 joules. I could totally do that because I have mega joules. Mega, mega joules. Perfect. I'm so excited about it. I could just poo. Thinking about doing the blink drive next. Maybe that's why I made it. What's an ion thruster take? Ion. Dude, I do need two. But I need two more, two more. So I'll just do that later. Because I want to get on the thing. Woohoo! All right. So first of all, we're going to grab this. This is a glass viewer. And it's the good thing about glass viewer is that it doesn't have the edges on it. When you put it together, it doesn't have... The texture in between. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bunch of these, which is eight glass around an iron ingot. So let's grab a crazy amount of it. Uh, crazy amount. And uh, another crazy amount. And that should be good for now. I should be good. Uh, do I have a test? Oh, I think. Uh, did I lose those tesseracts? I think I may have. Did I lose them? Do I definitely get it, sir? Oh, please don't be gone. Oh, they're gone. I have to make new Testerex. Ah. Oh. I think I had those on my person. Yeah, I lost everything that was in the bag. 
everything. The vile sword, the whole nine yards. So, yeah, there was there was there was a little bit of sadness in my heart when I came back to my screen and saw you have been killed to death by a blaze, and I was like, "You son of a biscuit! You dirty rotten son of a biscuit!" Totally biscuity son thing. Oh, and I had a book. Oh God, thank God I put it in here. Look at that disjunction three, which is kind of grappy. But I had an, I had another couple of books. One of them was um, it was efficiency three, unbreaking two. I've been getting them from the thing because there's a lot of things. <gasps> oh, there you go. I have it in my pocket. <clears throat> Great Avenger says second. <laughs> okay, so. There is one thing that I want to discuss about the farm, and that thing I want to discuss about the farm is quite simply this. Bam. Full. Full like crazy. It's just like, not well, like, nothing else will fit there full, but you know what I mean? So I had this on so I can get some spurns. Yeah, I got 21 out of that. That's not bad. I wasn't so mad about that. I lost 34 levels. I don't know if you guys remember. I think it was 34 at the end of the thing, at the end of the last episode. But I wasn't so angry about the levels because they come and go. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I lost. I had uh, in here. I had um, another zombie, not another zombie. Uh, another skeleton started, so I could combine the 900 and some odd pig one that I had, which is also gone. I did, however, manage to get the, the a second uh, tier five blaze farmer before a blaze farm before it uh, before I died. Oh, God, I'm so angry. I'm so incredibly angry. It is not even funny. Okay, but ideally what we're looking for is this right here. And this, I'm going to lose a little bit of this. So let's go ahead and... I, mean, I think I made another one of these. I did. Okay, so that's perfect. Nee, 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 nee. Okay, uh, what do we want here? What is this? Sharpness is Soul Stealer. Oh, I didn't put it in my bag. Oh, I was really excited about that one. So let's see if we, we can get all the juice out of that. These things are still, these bows are still going down here no matter what I do. So I have to come in here all the time and pull the bows out, which is frustrating the poop out of me. So what I did is I took the thoroughness upgrade out of the router so that it services the machines individually. Come on. I wish you could, I can't even get in there. It's so stupid. I'm, I'm too awesome a jumper. But what I did is I took the uh, thoroughness upgrade out of there. So it just has the bandwidth. So it can move an entire stack at a time. So regardless of how many it gets in there. What, why does it feel like I'm going so slow? Must have turned my, I must not have fixed my walk assist. What do we got? Oh, you're totally out. That's cool. I'm going to pick you up anyways. All right. Come on. Get my grammar. All right. So we have this thing. And we're going to be utilizing that. It's function. At a later date. And, uh... <laughs> the pig left you a surprise in, the, in that golden chest. <laughs> He's like, I pooped in it. No, he didn't really say that. That would be gross. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's let's get these torches out of here. Because what we're going to do is we're going to fill this up with um, monster juice. Which is totally going to be okay. And the good thing I like about the glass viewer is you notice that the, the thing is is there man There's, you can see the border but it, it's not like in your face kind of thing and you can also break it and pick it back up unlike regular glass which is a total jerk like that uh it just like bees a butthead all right but let's go ahead i have way too much glass viewer i have way too much glass viewer way too much i made two stacks of that i'm not even gonna use I didn't even use one full stack. I'm <laughs> an idiot. <laughs> so let's go ahead. Boop. Is it going to initialize? No, there's torches in there. Okay. Get rid of this. I think this might be the reason. Because I'm fairly certain it's less than 12. I don't... There we go. All right. So it holds... That's not too bad. Four mil. Four mil is not bad at all. I can totally deal with that. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to have effectively a tesseract, a liquid tesseract system, which is going to, all the grinders and junk like that are going to 
I think we're going to need another one. I bet I don't even have... Oh, they're over here. Oh, I remember seeing them. Yay, jumping. All right, yeah, but, but effectively we're going to have is a liquid Tesseract system that connects everything for me. So that shouldn't be too big of an issue. Issue. Yeah, uh, the everything is working great except for the bone meal thing. And I think what the problem is with that is um, it's all dumb. <laughs> I can't know how to put it. I told the freaking router, don't do that. So I think what I'm going to do is um, since uh, Red Power doesn't doesn't recognize NBT data, which is which is this like this is Enchanted Book um, four zero three, but the NBT data on it for efficiency three and pro projectile function it doesn't recognize that, so it just sees it as an Enchanted Book, as it would just see this as an Enchanted Bow. It doesn't matter what enchantments it has on it. So what I can do is I can have everything feed into a chest and then I can have two filter systems I can have a little filter system in that little area because I'm thinking about since I've got a blaze that got out I'm thinking about rebuilding this into a into a stack so that everything comes you know out of a uh, two wide instead of you know four wide but I think I think that might work out for me so let's go ahead and put this up here and then we'll just go up here there we go and set this to and I'm going to call this Monster Juice. And we're going to give it the number four. Like that. And we're going to add that Monster Juice. And this is going to be a receiver. It's only going to receive. And I always get this mixed up. I think, okay, is it going to receive, you know, from a pipe? Or is it going to receive from the network? The best way to think of it is it's a receiver transmitter. And you're toggling which one it is. It's going to receive from the ether. Or it's going to transmit into the ether. My phone is ringing. I shall return. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't for me. All right. So anyways, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead. And this is going to be like my antenna. And it's going to receive monster juice. Boop. Just like that. So it's a receiver for monster juice. And of course, it starts raining. It's not raining over here. It is raining again. We're back. We're forth. We're forth. We're back. And then we're going to come over here. And we're going to put this down like that. Just like that. Boop. Boop. And this is going to send into the network of Monster Juice. Go. I'm actually going to make it send only. There we go. And then I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to put this thing here like that. Boom. And it's going to send Monster Juice forever. I really wish it would stop grabbing bows. It upsets me. Or at least I wish... Look, see. The macerators fill up. I should be able to macerate a stinking bow, people. You know what I mean? The only thing, I think the only way that I can really keep that from backlogging is to take these overclockers out. Let's try that. Let's try overclockers out and see if that keeps it cruising enough so that it's always full of bones or at least has a bone in it. You know what I mean? And that we can fine tune it as required. And then we can come over here and I'll, I'll put another monster juicer right there after I kill all these guys and, and steal their guts because I need to make that skeleton thing a uh, tier 5 so that it kicks out sufficiently and I'm going to leave that there as a reminder to never go AFK near a blaze farm it's a good it's a good reminder and I, like I said I'm probably once all four of these are tier 5's I'm probably going to boost this or take this ooh look how fast it's going cool Let's go over and look and see. So our see our monster juice. Oh crap, dude! I totally. And thank God, I just got I almost got hit by a train. Did you see that crap? It's scary. All right, let's go see our about our about our monster juice. Man, it's a lot of monster juice in there. Yeah, but effectively, what I'm gonna do is make another tesseract, and um, I'm, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have two eventually. I'm gonna have two eventually, but this is going to be. The enchanting room. The, the hall of enchanting. Which leads us to the other thing. That I'm going to come over here. I have all of a sudden. Some acid indigestion. It's coming up. <laughs> Computer guy says. You are so the best. Thank you very much. Hi. How are you? Alright. And this is we're going to make bookshelves. And you're like. Bookshelves? Who want to have bookshelf? I say, I want to have bookshelf. I'm going to grab as many of these as my little fingers can pick up before I run out of materials, which appears to be 44. That's a lot 
of things. Look at all that glass viewer that I have. I'm totally going to put glass in things now. I'm going to go upstairs and go to bed first. And then I'm going to glass viewer things up until it can't even see straight. It's going to be so much glass viewer all over the place. Uh, Denise says, I'm back, baby! Exclamation point! One, one, exclamation point! One, one, exclamation point! I said, welcome back, Denise. I missed you. He's like, just too good to watch you, man. It's just too good. <laughs> no, he's been busy, and I understand. You know, that kind of stuff happens. No, I don't understand at all! Okay, I'm alright. I'm alright. Shh, shh. Uh, it's okay. And then we're going to put these books up along here. Um, we're probably going <laughs> to... He was gone for so long. I missed him. Yeah, I had to make a bunch of crap again. I'm really mad about that. Um, that looks good for now. And then I'll show you what these do. All right. Oop. And you can put your books in here, thusly. And they show up on the shelf. Do you see it? Do you see it? And I can come over here like, oh, okay, let's sort it. And then I'm going to sort these basically by functions, you know, power or efficiency and blah and blah. And these shelves will go one, two, three, four. So if you look, if you look right here, if I pull these out and I move these down, thusly, the books move thusly. And you're like, what? And I'm like, I know, right? So they're right there. So I have all these, and I'm going to sort them out, and I'm going to have a system. And now, okay, here's the thing. I'm going to, before, before you even think about doing it, the auto enchanter is great. But if you try to feed an item in with a manager, it goes in the bottom slot right there. If you try to feed it in with a hopper, you crash your Minecraft. So don't do that. <laughs> don't. Feed it into this thing with a hopper. So what I got to basically do is figure out maybe transposer. And those are the things I'm going to work on in the test world. I'm going to play around with this a little bit. But the, the plan is to have a manager here that says, okay, don't put a book in there, but books are allowed to be in there. So basically I'll have it in that method where it'll pull a, anything but a book out. And then I'll have another system in here that detects whether or not there's a book in there and if there isn't a book in there it'll send a pulse to extract one item you see what i'm saying and i'm trying to figure out how exactly i'm gonna do that it might be a little bit of a complicated red power build but it might be a transposer on top it might be anything we got to figure that out and that's what we're going to play so if you got any ideas for me let me know and shady gaming 3 uh, shady gaming 93 said don't look at it lol that was pretty funny i totally didn't mean to show you guys that i really didn't but uh, this sh should be this should be a majority empty. Oh, jeez, I just freaking I am so hungry. I forgot to turn the efficiency up on these things, and the walk assist. I probably need to do that too. All right, so this is empty. No, it's not. Not yet. It's yeah, it's empty and as fast as it, it's going in there. So what I need to do is move this downstairs and put it like right here. I clear this out a little bit, by the way. And what I'm going to do effectively is probably just put it right here, right in front of this thing, so that it's connected right here on these, right here. And then I'll just wrench these to flip them around. You know, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to flip that around right now like that. All right, so that'll go that way. And this will go this way. And then I will break. Yeah, that should, that should totally work. And then I'll just put these over here. Um, yeah, go in and in, which is, that's good. And this goes in and in. Okay, so we're all good here. I just gotta move this thing. So let's go get the thing, and we're gonna move the thing. Because that's how we do. This is how we do it. Boop! Alright, come on. Get in my pocket. And then we'll come over here, and we'll move this liquid tesseract to right there. And then we'll go receive only in the monster juice. Go. And then it should directly fill from that and I'll do something similar to all the slaughtering things I did put an energy bridge over here so that I can tesseract power in to power these because it was literally running out of power I was there were so many mobs to get killed so <laughs> ah. uh, and uh, will 136 brought up a very good point if you'll notice in the last episode look at you running chunk he's up there just running junk he's like this is how I roll anyway 
He's like, I, I freaking put this thing on here, I whacked it with a wrench, and it started raining. Because I'm going to make it rain. He said, like, how did you do that? Plug in the power, then whack it, whack the power conduit, and turn it on, and bam, it starts raining. You are amazing, sir. I did. You know, I knew I was amazing already. You don't have to tell me that. Oh, I already knew. Uh, but that's the plan. This is going to be the Hall of Enchanting. And I'm going to do some Zycraft bricks in here and stuff like that. It should be a lot of fun. I already have 640,000 monster juice. So that's why I need a system to automatically uh, enchant books. And then I'm going to put... Um, two diamond chests, one here and one here, and I'm going to have them feed in through the bottom into the diamond chest, and then I'll just come and sort them as needed, or void pipe them if they're not any good. But effectively, as you can see, uh, at 30 levels a, a, a chunk, I wonder if I can do this. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this. Because I'll just do this right now. I, need, I, know I, do, I know I need juice, so let's bring you to there. And that, and, but I'm going to need a switch. So do I even have any? I, I, I think I lost a whole stack of switches. So <laughs> I always griped about having too many switches. Well, now you don't, Garth. Now you don't. Now you don't have any switches at all. Stupid. That's how we roll around here. We're switch thieves. We steal switches. Switches. Stealing them good. All right. Um, I could also... Uh, I, got a couple, I, got a, I guess I got a couple of options. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Switch over here. Switch over here. Come back. Come back. One. I got one lever. I always call them switches. I don't know why. That's just how I roll. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. And uh, Grady Avenger says the conveyor system is amazing, Garth. Good job. I know. I love it. Isn't it awesome? That's one of the things that was, like, when I was in creative, I was waiting for some blazes to spawn. I was just looking at it. I'm thinking to myself, wow. You know, if that little part over there worked the way it was supposed to, man, it would be great. You know, I'm, what I'm thinking about doing, because if you look at this, all right, let's say bone meal. Uh, I don't know if they have the, uh, the UU recipe for that in here, So, but let's look. I don't think they do. But if, you know, if you could make, if you could make bone meal with UU matter... I would almost prefer to macerate everything. You know what I mean? And then, uh, I would, I can't put it on glass. Can't put a switch on glass. I should have, I should have, I should have done that. But you, and you power it. I need to whack it. There you go. Do I still need the wrench? Do I still, I do not. I do not need the wrench. Okay, so this thing will fill up. All I need is power, and then I can run these across the back thing. That's, that's good. Ah, oh, that's good. I wonder if I if I okay so it does empty yeah I do need the switch there we go all right you know I could probably put the switch down at the bottom who knows sky's the limit but anyways you see what I'm trying to do here you see what I'm working on now this was one two three four five six seven eight nine so let's go over here and do that oh I'm so excited people you don't even know I discovered these things I just I mean I can't even I can't even put words to how excited I am for for what I'm doing here. I think I went one too far. I went three too far. But I, I'm just, I just can't wait. Hall of Enchanting, we're going to get it done. We're going to get it done. It's going to happen in our lifetime, people. In our lifetime. <laughs> anyway, but that's the, that's the basic premise. So let, let me go ahead and get a few things together. I know you hate the guts. But I want to put this stuff together, and I want to get it out, and I want to get it done, and I don't want you watching me while I'm doing it because it makes me nervous. <laughs> I thought I lost these. I took them off because they were causing me problems. Ah! So I believe five more are in order. One, two, three, four, and five. So now we have a total of six of these things. Uh, I do need... If I got a whole stack of that in my pocket when I die, I believe, which makes everything beautiful. And I got some molten ender, so I, could, I can I can make another test. How much do I have? Uh, Three thousand. That's bad. I think I, I think I can get one tesseract out of that, which is be exactly what I need. So let's go ahead and get the power system set up after a short nap. Ah, yes. <clears throat> And Gray the Avenger corrected me, uh, or not corrected me, but informed me that vids means videos. So I, I did not know that. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, that's why I asked the question, so you guys can help me out. You know, I don't mind looking like an idiot if it's for science. 
If it's for science, <laughs> Spider ain't helping you out at all now. Is he's like, oh my god, it's out of here. I was a jerk. Move. Mine. Shut up. Anyways, so it's totally okay now. You're totally fine. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take right probably here. Uh, get out of here. Do like this. And we'll put basically a tesseract right there. And then we'll get it, get it in here. Good. Oosh, like that. Perfect. And I will put the tesseract will be in the back. And then this will be here. And then this will run effectively. Oh, I gotta go up one. I gotta go up one. So this, I only gotta go up one, two, three here. And then I can go down. And then we can go over. And then I'm going to go one, two, three on this side, and boom, boom, and a boom. All right, so that is effectively how we're going to do our power thing. Now, as you can see, this thing is full of juice. Or it better be. Wait a minute. Oh. All right. Now it should be full of juice. Yeah, there we go. And there we go. All right, so I'll put the other ones down. And with the liquid ducts. Thusly, unt. Will that switch depower this? I wonder. Let's find out. And boom. So this one's full, and this one's full, and they all have power. So, the beginnings of the system, I believe, pretty self explanatory. This is how we're going to do it. This is what we're going to do. It's going to be super fun. And if you don't like it, I'm going to punch you in the eye. Not really, though, because I'm not a violent guy. And uh, Garth, uh, not Garth, but Denise said, Garth, you need to make an, elect an advanced electric jetpack. You will love it. Trust me. I don't trust you, man. You're shady. You're shady. Remember, we go way back. So I know you. I know you, man. Anyway, I know. I, he's good people. He wouldn't steer me wrong. And I think one of the ways that we're going to avoid overflow right here is, first of all, I'm probably going to create a second um, spawning area. A second spawning area, if you will. Or not spawning, but breeding area. And what I'll do with this is instead of uh, just having this one area like that with all kinds of crap in there, I will um, effectively have two. You know what I mean? So... It'll be good. I'll have um, like two of these feeder sessions that, that. Am I bothering you? I'm only trying to make a YouTube video here. That's right. Punk. Don't even give me that. Anyway, but we'll have basically two of these. We'll have almost a mirror set up on the other side so that the babies are pulled into the here and here, and there'll be one pen that kills everything. And it it obviously does well. And then I'll just put a, uh, a liquid test. Look at that dude. He's almost striping. All right. Well, I gotta kill these turkeys. So let's go. Let's go see if we can start cooking another another set of uh, soul shards. And uh, while I'm over there, I'll pick up an, um, another liquid duck, and we'll make the final tesseract. I believe the tesseract. I believe it only takes two thousand, but you know there is. We might have to make all kinds of junk. And uh, you guys will see it, this work in in, uh, in style. But the big thing is for automating the the enchanting with the monster juice. I don't even know why I came over here. Um, cobblestone transport. <gasps> I don't have any. I don't have any. I don't have any liquid ducks. I don't have any liquid ducks. Oh my god! I don't have any liquid ducks. Mm, I gotta make liquid ducks. I need make liquid ducks. I forgot. It's easy. I know that. It's not. It's, it's a, like brass on something. It's, copper and hardened glass. Oh. I think I actually have hardened glass somewhere. Hardened glass is not hardened glass. Hardened glass is not I'm fairly certain I have hardened grass. Grass. <laughs> hey, man. It's hardened. It's hardened, man. Alright. Uh, hardened glass is obsidian and glass, I believe. Obsidian and lead. Yeah, poop. 
could have swore I had some. Yeah, lead and obsidian in a induction smelter, which I have plenty and plenty. Where's lead? Lead. Boop. Thank you, thank you. So let's just make let's just make it till our faces explode. Well, I've already got the lead in there, so let's go ahead and put the pole rust in there, and I'll put the lead back. I just you you never know, you know, you never know, you know, when you know. But uh, yeah, totally, we got this worked out. We totally got this worked out. The um, sorting system is doing great. The downside is, like I said, we got those. Um, do I have bones? I do have bones. Somehow how many stacks of these bones I got? One, two, three. We could totally try that. Let's try that while that hardened glass cooks up. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so like we're all over the place with this video, and I know that, but I'm super duper excited because this this I'm fairly certain. I'm fairly certain. I'm fairly certain that this enchanting room is going to be freaking stupid epic. But I was fairly certain about the same thing with the skeleton spawner as well. And I've got a new idea for this. Like, um, you guys know I'm never satisfied. Probably going to turn all this crap off and stack it like I said. But instead of using conveyors on the inside, what I'll do is I'll have everything route to one central chest. And then I will have the uh, sorting system pull out and send to, um, like, uh, what do you call them? When you, I think they're called um, relays. When you feed into the front of it, it like pop, 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 pop out the back onto the uh, the conveyor belt. So we still have the conveyor belts on the outside, but the inside is all um, red power too. So, because that, that will solve all my problems as far as what, as, as far as what goes what. I don't even know why I'm up here. I don't even know why I came back outside. Where to come outside for? Bones. Okay. My brain. I wish I had two of them. I really do. All right. So let's take this, and we'll put you there. You see all that crap falling down there? There's just it's just that crap over there. It's driving me nuts, people. Driving me nuts. So this way, let's just put two in here. We'll put two in this one. Where'd you go? Got my Joe. There you are. All right. And we'll put two in this one. I've lost them again. I just had them in my freaking hands two seconds ago. And we'll, we'll just try two and see if that keeps it. Because I don't care if the bo the bows despawn. Honestly, I don't. It's the it's the bones I don't want to lose, which is fine. <laughs> you chanted bow? Yeah, whatever, dude. Just let it go. It's fine. It's totally fine. Yes. Mm, I love finding things. I love finding things. I'm so excited. It was I was telling Joe Fair uh, right after it happened. I was like, "Yeah, dude, all my inventory problems have been solved." He's like, "Wow, how how, how did you do that?" I'm like, "I died, <laughs> and everything despawned." He's like, "Oh my god, you should cheat it all back in because you're a dirty, rotten scoundrel." And I was like, "You shut up." Then I hung up on him. I didn't really say that. It's not true. It's not true at all. And Dylan Gray says, "Would." Without you, I would have no joy in my life, or no FTB, or the greatest mod pack ever created by persons ever, ever. So, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you? I don't know if you're thanking me, but you're complimenting me, that's for sure. So, I will say thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Stuff like that really does, you know, it does my heart good. You guys are probably like, yeah, whatever, dude. You send it for money. I'm like, yeah, I know. Woot, woot. I love money. Almost had enough to pay my cable bill. If I saved up for two months. <laughs> what did I come over here for? I don't even know. These things. Miscellaneous hardware. Are they in here? No, 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 no. Maybe it's in here. Yes, relay. Because when you pump it into a relay, as, you, as you'll see over here, when you pump it into a relay in the front side, actually, I guess you could do it with a filter too, but it just kicks it out. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm doing with the bows? Yeah, if they get in there, watch what happens. You'll see them here in a minute. They'll come through because I just put a bunch in that chest. They'll come through. Where are you at, guys? I'm probably going to have to extra dimensional my uh, <coughs> marble soon because that world was a cave world and there is so much marble and it's not even funny. Where those bows go? Did I miss them already? I guess I did. Weird. I don't remember missing them. Of course, would you remember missing something? Probably not. 
Probably not. Hence the missed it. All right. So what I could do effectively would have it, you know, have this be the part you see from the outside and it go onto the conveyor belt. So that would, I think that will work out. I think that's what I'm going to do. It'll require a little bit of rebuilding, but eh, who cares? You know what I'm saying? Who cares? Oh, that reminds me. I wanted to come in here and grab one diamond and then run over here into the soul forge. Oh, I already had some cooking up. Sweet. Oh my God, it's like Christmas. Like Christmas Day. Don't even, don't judge. Don't even judge. Don't even judge. So I need corrupted ingots and sticks. Sticks. And I'm going to make a sword right here. I definitely got to remember, I might have to go back and watch my video and figure out how I had my gear set up because my thing doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's, um, my walk speed is right. It doesn't feel like my walk speed is right at all. My run speed feels all right, but my walk speed feels really, really slow for some strange reason. So that, see this, this feels super slow, super duper slow. All right. What do we got over here? Hmm. Uh, we got Bill Phil who says, firstly, Gray the Avenger, how do you post so many comments? Second, Garth, you are amazing. Keep it up. And I think Gray the Avenger is able to post that many comments because it, he's not rapid firing them. Um, he, as he, as he encounters things in the video that he would like to respond to, he simply responds to them, which, um, works out. You know, everyone, he's even said that he had to do one of those what do you see here kind of things a couple of times so boom we'll put that one there that's on 30 okay and this one we'll put one there and we're looking for specifically uh soul stealer and unbreaking which i believe i already have i just got to find it i believe i already have it it's sharpness see i want unbreaking and soul stealer and i'm fairly certain that i had those yeah it draws the power so fast Let's turn this up to 100. Yeah, that should definitely give you enough juice. No, it doesn't. There's too many of them running on here. I might have to split it. I might have to split it. Or I might... Ooh, you know what I could do? Because with the power converters, I could kick out HV power on this. Or at least MV, at least. I could totally do that. All right, well... That's going to take a while, so I'm going to go over here and do other stuff. Uh, we're going to find this other book. I could swore I had it. Disjunction. I could have swore I had unbreaking. Ugh, I could have swore I had unbreaking. Get out of here. Don't even, you don't threaten me with yourself. With yourself. Oh, God, I could have swore I had unbreaking. And Soul Stealer. Could have swore. It might have been because it was on the other one that I had. But either way, who gives a crap? Um, it doesn't matter what you kill him with, unless it's got an enchantment on it. So I'm just going to go here and chainsaw him all to death. <laughs> you guys ready to die? That was not rhetorical. Looks a little busy in there, what do you think? Well, I think I'm going to do a speed up kill on this.
All right, so I'm fairly certain I taught them a guys a lesson. So we'll put this in here for now. We'll put those leftovers in there for now. Put those two in there for now. We got 67 pigs and 65 cows. Nice. Nice. And we get a lot of st other stuff. There we go. All righty. Wow, that was a lot of stuff. That was a lot of stuff. So let's go over here. What do we have? No, get off of that. Get off of that. All right. Um, I could probably just feed this straight into here. Ah, well, I didn't need that anyways. Or that. Or that one, or those, or that. Or this. Or thems. Or those. So, there we go. Alrighty. So now what I need to do, basically, is to continue to do that forever and a day. Um, and effectively get my tier 5 uh, skeleton spawner. I already have a tier 4, which is like 512, and that's pretty easy to beat. All you gotta do is run around and find a spawner or two, and then you're up to, you know, 900, and then I only need to transfer those two, and we're done. And that's it. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Protection 3, Bane of Anth Anthropods. See, those two don't even go together. Or those three don't even go together. So I might, I wanna, might want to step this down. Disjunction and protection. Those are like one's a weapon and one's armor. Silk touch and vorpal. Mm. What do you want to do about that? What do you want to do about that? Vorpal and silk touch. I'm going to do it. Totally going to do it. Let's go down here to my anvil. And Veer, it's got some cracking on it, but that's just fine. I don't care at all. Silk Touch and Vorpal. So Vorpal doesn't go on, but Silk Touch does. So it'll drop whatever you don't need. Okay, so that's how we get. Silk Touch, people. Silk Touch. You're like, why did you do that? Oh my god, now you're not going to have ever any cobble ever again. I'm like, fine. Seriously. Because watch. Watch and learn. And learn and watch. And watch and learn. Because if I want a grass block, I don't have to use a transmitter anymore. Boom! Make it rain! And this will also help me when I get like redstone blocks and stuff like that. I can like decorate with that. That'll be a lot of fun. We'll all hang out together and we'll have redstone blocks and junk. Boop! Look at that. A <laughs> clay block. Eee. I got chuck stone and I'm gonna put it there. You can't have it. It is mine. <laughs> Computer guy says, how about three laws instead of two? Because he was talking about, I guess, yours forever's comment. And then he said, I'm not stupid again. Apparently, I call myself stupid a lot, and I'm sorry. I really am. Uh, also wanted to note, I also wanted to note something. I, I've, I've detected from you guys that you like, as a whole, you like the smaller episodes. Because I do have some pretty hardcore viewers who like the, the larger ones. Um, but you guys... Honestly, are the majority are, not, are the minority. So, just remember that. If you wonder why, don't you? Why doesn't Garth do hour-long episodes? Because I enjoy, um, I I enjoy talking to you guys, hanging out, whether thirty minutes or forty-five minutes. If with you know a thirty-minute video, that gives me time to put out more content. Like I can break it up into two sections. Like I do the ankle in one episode and the shin in the next, instead of doing the ankle and the shin together for an hour. It cuts down on my rendering time, but it also gives me more content. So it's you know it's a, it's a balance that I play with. I don't even know how long I've been recording. I'm just working on simple little things. Uh, and I said uh, so. I've noticed the longer episodes get way fewer views, but more likes per views. Uh, I'm guessing that is because my hardcore fans love the love the longer content. Thanks, guys. And um, what I meant by that is like if you look at some of my videos, you'll see like um, like an hour long episode. Um, we'll, we'll have like 40 views on it. Nobody watches it um, as compared to the 30-minute videos, which get like 120, 130. Uh, but the 120 or 130 will have 6 or 7 likes on it, where the 40 to 50 will have 8 or 9 or 10 likes on it. So, you know, it's, it's kind of like, percentage-wise, it's more, what's the word I'm looking for here? It's more popular by those who see it than it is to those who watch the longer videos. So I don't, I don't, know, I don't even know if that makes sense. 
Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. I got all the freaking liquid ducts I could ever want now. Ever. And I hate to keep plugging things, but I'm going to say this. And I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you guys this. So um, the amount of content that you see on my channel is going to be directly to proportional, directly proportional to the amount of time that I get to record with the Jofinator. Um, I thoroughly enjoy the series that I'm doing with him, the, uh, the single chunk build. I love it. So a lot of my free time is going to be taken up by that. This world is not going to get forgotten. I'm still going to work in it like I'm doing right now. But when I have time, man, I'm going to be, I'm going to be hanging out doing that because that is a lot of fun. Figuring out compact builds, uh, figuring out ways to move things between floors. I mean, Tesseracts are going to be, or play a huge part in it, but not forever. You know, we're going to have to work out things, like piping and stuff like that first. Okay, so... Now that I've got my comment out of the way, I'm not, I'm not signing off just yet. I just wanted to read a little chain comment here. Q responds to my comment about the longer content. Fan, my hardcore fans love the longer content. He says, there is an, an analogy there somewhere. I'm sure of it. And I responded, I'm guessing a dirty analogy. <laughs> and he said, now, why would you think that? I'm the innocent one. I think he's referring. I think I'm going to try to get him in trouble just now. I think what he's saying is that Zenus uh, is the dirty one. And he is not the dirty one he's the clean one and the pure one so i think he just called Zenus a dirty old lady so just remember that when you when you see q um, up on a pole <laughs> that'll be why that'll be why all right so uh let's go ahead and cover this back up and we'll talk about our decorative plans for the future uh i gotta put this down first though boop all right and this will be all connect, all be connected. Uh, and I am going to have the monster juice from the the cow grinder come over here. So it'll it'll we'll have two separate monster juice tanks. This one will more than likely be filling up a lot faster. So that's why I want to work out the automated system for this. Now I don't care if it hides the entire process right here. If all you can see is other pieces of machinery attached to it, I think that'll be pretty cool. Either way, five hundred forty thousand, not too shabby. Let's go ahead and put another book in each one of these. Just like that. Little graphical glitch there on the power bar. You see that? Mm hmm. So I can put out up to 100 Michael Jacksons per tick. Look at that. Just sucking it dry. Holy moly. That is crazy. That is lunacy. Lunacy. And um, let's see. What do we got? What do we got here? Uh, Bill Phil said, notice how the steak spews out piston particles. You are a messy eater. <laughs> I thought that was funny. He also said, uh, I should really get into the habit of waiting until the video is over before posting a comment. That and getting to sleep on time. And thank you, Garth. With the, I'm fairly certain it was just a nose with some happy eyes. It's a smiley face. It's exponential, O oh, exponential. Superscript or whatever it's called. Okay, but here's what I'm going to do. All right, I'm going to shut down this one. That should, once it gets 64 seeds in there, it should shut it down because it'll. It, oh my gosh, look at that. I'm using, it's going so fast that I'm using up more power than I'm generating. Holy crap, I never even thought about that. These batteries must be just annihilated. Wow. Holy moly. I'm going to need probably six more solar panels. Maybe. Maybe even a windmill. Man, that's crazy. That is so crazy. Oh, and in, in a, a couple episodes ago, I was like, factorization power? What do you mean factorization power? I totally know what factor. I built it in Season 1 FTB. Uh, multiplayer. I built the whole freaking system. It's the solar panels with the mirrors or the, the solar reflector with the mirrors on it. I'm an idiot. It's ignore me, okay? If I say something that sounds stupid, it probably is. It probably is. I'm going to come through here and uh, we'll sort these out another day. Probably do that off camera or some junk like that. I get all my books together. But there's one more thing I wanted to show you guys so that you can <coughs> make it. <coughs> it's pretty cool. Uh, if you want to make it, you can. Uh, we learned about it in, in the in the FTB series. Where are you at? Is it there? No, you're here. Okay. <clears throat> shelf. I think it's just regular shelf. Uh, yeah, just regular shelf. Right, right there. Oak shelf. Which is... Okay, I totally got that. 
Just like that. You know what? I just need 12 of you. Like that. And that. And what I really like about these is you can put anything, <clears throat> anything on there. I mean, sort of lava, probably. Probably wouldn't go over well. So what I figured I would do is right here. And I, can I, I can still, okay, I can still open it. So what I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll pull out my vile sword and my cow and my pig. And I will put those on there. So right click, right click, right click. So now I, you know, I always know where they're at. And they will die with 800 pigs in my pocket. <sighs> and then over here I can hang up some other stuff. Like right there, I'll hang up some other stuff. It'll look stupid. But that's fine. It's fine. Trust me. It's fine. I'm going to go get some cobble. Because that's fine too. Cobble. Holy moly, I don't have any cobble left. Why do I not have cobble left? That is really weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to pull cobble out of this. And then I'm going to come over there and I'm going to put... Oh, please, thank you. Thank you for not falling. All right, and then I'll come over here and i got to get rid of 20... There we go. Handled. Handled. Right? Yes? Start going up. Start going up. Do it. Do it. Don't make me do this again. I'll do it. You seeing it? Coming at you. All right, what's going on here? I'm starting to get mad. Okay. Why is it going that way? Oh, because I didn't put the I didn't put it back in the thing. Okay. Meow. Meow. It's one of these. I can't remember which one it is, but I'll find it. I got to put it back in the filter. The filter. Defuter. See, is it this one? It was. Not that one. Is it this one? No. Was it this one? No. This one? No. It was the one that had... It should have two holes in it. it difficult to find? I might just put it in one that has an opening. That might be a better idea, Garth. What do you think? Sure does. Thank you. All right. All right, so that little bit of cobble is going to be going down to the basement. But that's A-OK -okay because that's that was the overflow anyways. So we should be good to go. Good to go. Let's go downstairs and have a look-see. Mm. I still got this thing turned on, kicking out juice. So still making scrap. Still pulling scrap out. Still, this mass fabricator's not doing too much. So there we go. So we're making scrap from these. Okay, so we totally got this. All right. Boom. All right. Nice. Nice. Okay, I think it's time to salutize. I went over to grab some cobble. We didn't have any. So I'm going to use marble since it's the new cobble. Didn't you know that? Marble's a new cobble. Marble's a new cobble. Everybody who's doing anything with cobble is doing it with marble now. Mm-hmm. Didn't know that. But you did. You did. You just didn't know you knew that. Mm, you just know you knew. You just know you do that. Yeah, I was, I'm going to do it right here. It says, guy cleans up my mess. You ready? Are you ready to clean up my mess? He looks like his glasses on, man. It's Joe Cool. Joe Cool got him right there, people. Let's talk about it. Mm, 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 mm. 40. 40 freaking comments, guys. That was awesome. I appreciate the crap out of it. This has been Garth R.S., The Towns Adventurer, episode 50 something. I want to say 5. 50, 55, episode 55, Feed the Beast, single player, season 2. Enjoyed the crap out of it. 
Hall of Enchanting. Mm, great idea. I'll be working on it and testing. Put your suggestions in. Let me know what you think might be a good idea, and we'll give it a shot. This wood golem looks real anxious, so let's feed him some marble. The Minecraft. Pick up my junk, fool. Pick it up. Pick it up. Good boy.